Hello YouTube family, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're gonna show you guys another quick and easy dish that Don and I like to take to parties, or in this case, to the Super Bowl, which is right around the corner. This is quick, easy, and delicious. And everybody loves it at parties. I'm Jerry. And I'm Dawn. And we're living, living the, the Nukem, Nukem life. life. So today what I'm going to show you is a buffalo chicken dip. This is super easy, super quick. Um, you can carry it to your party in a mini crock pot and it's perfect. Um, we are going to make this today with canned chicken, but you can make it with rotisserie chicken. You could make it with, you could cook your own chicken and shred it up. Um, whatever works for you. This is just quick and easy for us today. We're going to use canned chicken. So we have two cans of canned chicken that we drained. So we took all the, the water off the chicken. We're gonna pour this into our bowl. And we are going to add a half a cup of Frank's Red Hot. Um, I know what you're gonna say. I put that on everything. <laughs> all right, so we need a half a cup of this. So a half a cup of red hot, Frank's Red Hot, and we just pour it over our chicken. We need one block of cream cheese softened. So this has been sitting out for, I don't know, half hour, 45 minutes or so. Um, we wanna soften that and put that in our dish. Um, and then we want a half a cup of ranch dressing. We have Hidden Valley Ranch, but whatever you have in your pantry, um, I say use and you want to pour that in your bowl as well then you just want to stir this up real good get everything mixed up real well You want to shred up that chicken. So if you were using rotisserie chicken or chicken that you cooked yourself, you want to make sure you shred it up pretty good. Um, you can always do that if you have a mixer. You can put your chicken in the mixer and shred it up that way. Um, I think my cream cheese could actually use to be a little softer, but we'll just stir it and incorporate it all in here. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to put this in a dish and we're gonna put it in the oven. Now, if you were going to a party, I don't know, three or four hours from now, you could put this in a mini crock pot and just put it, put, you know, set your crock pot to low and let it heat up that way. But because we want to get this done in a short amount of time, we're gonna put it in the oven. Um, our oven is preheated to 350 degrees and we're gonna put this in a, uh, a little casserole and we're going to let it cook for 15 minutes and basically everything is cooked in this already so we're just um, melting everything down and incorporating it together guys this is delicious I can't wait for you to try it Now, if your cream cheese is still a little clumpy, that's okay because once it melts, um, you can stir it up after it comes out of the oven. So here is our um, buffalo chicken dip. We're gonna go ahead and put this in the oven, 350 degrees for 15 minutes. Look at that. That looks delicious. So guys, remember we had some clumps of some uh, cream cheese in here. You can literally just take this and give it a stir and everything will melt down and make this super creamy. This would be excellent to um, put in those pizza type bombs, I think. The ones, if you haven't seen our video on pizza bombs, 
I think they would be excellent with this inside of them. So check that video out. I think it's time for a taste test. Did somebody say taste test? <laughs> <laughs> this is Jerry's favorite. Yeah, so he's awesome. really happy about this. the uh, taste test on this one. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna try these chips that Dawn made. Um, these are a low carb chip and they are fantastic. Really quick and easy um, to make. Um, I will leave a link for this video so you guys can check these out as a low carb chip alternative. But, but you don't have to make them low carb. You can make them just regular. Yeah. But this is an alternative if you want a chip for some dip, but you're not, you know, you want to watch your carbs, you can make these chips and uh, they're phenomenal. They are outstanding. There you go. You're first. I'm first? You're first. <laughs> mm. 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 That's good. That's good. The Frank's Red Hot gives it just the right amount of kick. Mm -hmm. And the... The uh, cream cheese makes it real creamy, kind of. Cream, yep, it makes it creamy, and you can actually taste the ranch. Yeah, that, a little bit. Just that a little bit. Taste. Yeah. And the cheese in it is just right on the money. That mixture is just absolutely the perfect. Cream cheese. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Man, that's fantastic. Are you gonna? Cause I'm gonna. Yeah. <laughs> I flip my chip around. I'm not double dipping. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. So that good, guys. It's really warm. Mm. And this is always a huge hit. Whenever we bring this anywhere, it is a huge hit, and it goes really, really quick. Yeah, our daughter was saying that she has put this dip over pasta, and it's really good that way, too. So that's an alternative that mm. you could do with the dip. Maybe you have some leftover after a party. Not likely, but could Not happen. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that is awesome. Yeah, it's great. All right, guys, so... I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's free and it really helps our channel grow. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're up to date on all of our upcoming videos. But thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you on the next one. Bye.